Hi all, welcome back to my channel. This video is especially for the folks who are very new to Docker and want to run any full-fledged application using Docker. This video will build a strong base understanding for Docker file in quick 5 minutes. Also, do you know how to maintain your Docker image versioning? If not, then make sure to watch this video till the end to learn about Docker image version control. In this video, we will discuss about creating a Docker file for Java program. We will build image and create Docker container. And at the end, I will show you how to maintain a Docker image version. Prerequisite for this video is you should have a basic understanding of what is Docker and how it works. I will recommend you to watch my previous video if not yet watched. The link for the same is provided in the description. So let's quickly start. So the first thing that we will do is we will run our Java program. So this is the sample Java program which I have just created. This is a one liner and the kind of very basic that everybody should know. And so the next thing that we will do is we'll go to this directory and compile this program. So it's compiled now. And when I will run this, it will print the message which is provided inside the program. So Java program is all up and running. Now the next thing that we will do is we will create a Docker file. Okay. So I'll name this as Docker file. I will remove the .txt extension so that type of this file will be as a file. Now this Docker file is very important. Okay, and this is going to be the main entry point for all of your execution and Docker will consider all of your instruction from this file. Okay. So the first and very important thing that we are going to do is we are going to provide the base image details here. Okay. So whenever we are trying to build any image, Docker needs some kind of base image. On top of that, Docker will build your image. If you want to run any Java program, what is the basic thing that you would need? You would need some kind of operating system. And the another important thing that you would need is JDK. So Java development kit is something which is very important. Okay. So I'm going to provide this using this command. And now in Docker, there is already an image provided the, as a base image, which we can use for our Java programs. Okay. And the base image is as JDK, open JDK, and the version I'm going to use is 8. So you can use any kind of base image if you want. If you go to your Docker Hub, okay, and type open JDK, it will list down all the uh, images related to that for the same. And if you go to the first one, it will show you what is this image is all about and the quick reference and everything okay so this is something which is already provided by docker and you can just use it so this is done now the next thing that we will do is we'll copy all of our file to this directory and we will make this as a working directory okay now the next thing is the command that we have to provide docker in order to compile our java program so what is the command to run compiler java program is java c and the file name right so file name in our case is java example dot java okay so this command docker will use it while building the container okay so when docker will build the container it will take our java example dot java file and it will compile that and create the dot class file into this directory. The last thing and the final thing that we are going to do is something called entry point. So this entry point is very important and the command that it says we have to provide in order to run our Java module. So which is Java and then the compiled file name which will be Java example in this case. Okay, so with that, we have successfully built our Docker file. Now I will go to the command prompt in order to build this Docker file. So in order to build a Docker file, the command is docker build hyphen T and your image name. So I'll give this image name as my Java app and I'll give version as v1 dot. So what it will do is it will build my Docker file 
based on the instruction which I have provided. So the base instruction, the first instruction which I have provided is Open JDK version 8. So it's trying to pull this base image from Docker Hub. It was quite fast for me because the image was already there in my local. But if you're doing it for the first time, it might take a while to download it from the Docker Hub. Based on your internet speed, this will work. Okay. And the next thing, the next instruction, as you can see, so each instruction provided in the Docker file is step by step executed here. And at the end, you will get this successful built this image and successful tag my Java app. So with that, our image is created. Now, if you go to Docker and Docker images. So now if you type Docker images, you will find this. So the first thing is something which you have just created and this is our image id now in order to run this image the command is docker run and the first three letter of your image id if you want you can use your complete image id but the first three initial will also work so here we go so we have run our image and it printed the output that means it has executed our java code so when this code will be executed, that was basically from the command which is provided as a entry point. So when Docker will try to run this image into the container form, then this command will be executed and your output will be written. Now, if you want to see the container details, so if I type Docker PS minus A, it will list down the container that we have created just now. But look at this. What is the status? Status is exited. What that means is container is not running now. If you type docker ps minus q to see the running containers, there is nothing. So there is no container which is actually running. So what docker does is post execution, if the container is task is completed, it will automatically kill the container so that it will not take any memories from your machine which is the best thing right so with that we have created our docker file build docker images and run docker container for java program the next thing i'll show you is docker image version control so for that i have to open this java program and i'll just type uh, message edit this as version 2 okay i'll close this and rebuild our docker image this time I will give this version as v2. So earlier it was tagged as v1, now it will be v2. If I ran this, it will again rebuild this. And if you type docker images again, so there will be two images created now one with v1 and another with v2 tag. If you run this image with v2 tag, so docker run and image first three is initials so it will give you the output with version 2 if you run the image the earlier image 8 cc it will give you the output of your first version see so in this way you can create as many number of images version that you want and you can keep all those versions successfully in your docker so you can create, keep creating v1, v2, v3 and all. And you can push all these images into your Docker Hub, which I will show you in my next video tutorial. So this is what we are going to discuss in our next video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Java tutorial videos.